Welcome to the second game of Group E with Sweden and South Korea. That's taking place in Nizhny Novgorod. Let's go down to Nizhny Novgorod for the Sweden and South Korea game. We are just moments away from this kickoff of the second game of Group E, which is going to be exciting. You see South Korea in the red and Sweden in the yellow without Zlatan Ibrahimovic since he already retired from the national team time for the national anthem from both teams and now we're gonna go to the middle for the kickoff of and the national anthem for Sweden. Yes, 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 let's go. We got the squad for both teams. Here it is for Sweden, all set in goal. And up front is Phil Ferguson, Berg, and Tio Vien in a 4 4 2 position, with, which they barely go with nowadays. And South Korea's squad with Bong Yok in goal. And up front, filled with Chiomyang Bion in a 4 1 4 1 position. We go for the kickoff and we are ready. This is Sweden's World Cup, which their last time they were in 2006 and they hosted in 1958. And for South Korea, they've been coming to World Cup like every year now and they co-hosted in 2002. So let's see what's gonna happen this year. Can they do something in this World Cup? The furthest that the both team have gone is in fourth place, which is very impressive for South Korea as a nation from Asia, which never happens, but South Korea did it in 2002. Great teamwork from Sweden. Great teamwork, five minutes in already in control, and a great defending from South Korea. Jiang Yang. Yosen. Jo. Byung. Great passing, great passing. Still movement. Byung. To Yang. Yang with the movement. He can do something and the ball just gets distracted from Sweden defense. Great passing again. Tillman Burr. Get out. Lustig. Maz. Tillman. Great ball. Watch a shot and what a see. Here's the chance for Sakuya. Great movement. What a move. The cross. This could be it. He potentially holds it back. What they can do? They just take the shot and Olsen just saves Sweden from conceding. Here's another shot for South Korea. Great ball movement. Great movement. What a ball. On. He moves it. Cross. The header. Here's a chance they can do something with it. Great defense. What a ball. What a beauty. What a touch. Still. Lustig. With the cross. This could be it. The header. Great defending for South Korea and the goalkeeper just saves it. Doesn't let Sweden to score. Great opportunity and the referee blows for the first half. Sweden nil, South Korea nil. Great first half with both teams, many opportunities. South Korea putting pressure on Sweden in the first couple of minutes. So if you guys have watched until this time, please comment Sweden. And you see 52% position for Sweden and 48% for South Korea. So let's go down back to the arena for the second half of this game to see who's gonna 
what are they going to do with this game? And Sakura kicks it off, and here we go. Attack. Aye. Beyond, strike with great ball movement from Sakura again. So, bang. On. What a cross. What a chance for Sakura. The ball is too much, and it goes for a good kick. 56 minute great ball movement from Sakura. This could be a great opportunity. What a ball. What a through ball. This could be it. The goalkeeper is dead in. Sakura scores in the 59th minute. Kyung Jop opens up the scoring for Sakura. Already number seven of Sakura opens Sweden defense and the goal. They couldn't catch him. What a run. What a ball. Great movement. Great movement from Sakura to open up Sweden. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at it again. What a pass. What a movement. What a teamwork. Look at that beautiful ball. Look at him. He finds him. He goes around the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper has no chance and just scores an open net, basically. Let's take a look at it from the other side. Awesome movement from Korea. Great ball. And look at the run. He reads it. The goalkeeper is beaten easily. No chance for him. And Sakura takes advantage and they score. Yup. Scores for Sakura. Sweden in danger. Augustinsson. What a ball. Kyovian. What a beautiful ball. He pulls it back. The cross. Look at the good header. What the hell? My tongue just got twisted. And great defense. Here's another chance for Sak for Sweden. Great movement. What is and the foul is finally given. Let's see what happened. We kind of saw what happened, but let's see closely. Moves in. Oh, oh, that's a disgusting tackle. The referee should have called it immediately, but he didn't get the advantage. 86 minute. Sweden is in danger. They have to do something with this corner. Uh, not the corner. Freaking close thing. What a pass. What a pass. Oh, oh, this could be it. The shot. What a save from South Korea's goalkeeper. My god. South Korea just barely getting out of this game with a victory. 88 minute great ball movement again. What a ball! Loose it. The ball of dreams, the shot, and the save. Oh my! South Korea now has to worry about about conceding. Take a look at this beautiful ball. The finish could have been there, but the goalkeeper saves South Korea. What an opportunity! This could be the last corner of this game. Could be Forsberg. The cross. The defense was on point. Elm. Great ball movement. And Sakuya wins this game. The referee blows the whistle. As Sakuya goes with a victory. Unbelievable game. Sakuya won Sweden nil. Let's take a look at the group. F. Germany and Sakuya sitting on top with three points. And Mexico and Sweden at the bottom. What a turn of event happening in group F. As we thought Germany and Sweden would win. But of course Sakuya. Now, time for Group G. Let's go to Belgium versus Panama in Fish Olympic Stadium. Now, this is a nail biter. Panama's first time in the World Cup, and Belgium already been in the World Cup. The last time they were in 2014, and they ended in quarterfinal. So, we are in Fish Olympic Stadium for this great match. And of course, Belgium being a fourth being in the fourth place in 1986 now it's time to see what they can do in this World Cup in 2018 in Russia you see Belgium in red and Panama in blue the usual colors Belgium's new kit is amazing amazing yes the words don't match up but it's happening All right, time for the national match Yes, yes, it's time for the opening game of Group G. Here's the squad for Belgium. We can see Courtois in goal on the front. Lukaku, Mertens, and Hazard. Oh my, they're going with the 3-4-3. Three, three. Great midfield. Look at that midfield. And now time for Panama squad with Fares in goal. Vivio, Maso, and Mas up front. In a 4-4-2 position again with Vivio and Maso up front, the, the strikers. Vertogen, the Spurs center back, 
Now kicking off is Belgium and here we go the opening game of Group G. Belgium already pushing for a goal. Great defending. There's a chance. What a ball. Vides. Vides. He can do something here for Panama. Pulls it back. The cross. The header and just misses past the post. Of course, Joe was just looking at the ball. Panama with the pressure now. This could be an unbelievable game. Let's take a look at this. He pulls it back. Beautiful fake. The cross. The header and just misses the goal. Faras. 15 minutes into the game. Great ball movement. Great defending. Here's a chance. Mertens. Mertens. What a ball for Vertogen. Vertogen. He can finish it. What a save from Ferris. To save Panama from conceding. Let's take a look at this opportunity once again. Lukaku finds Mertens. And what a ball for Mertens to Vertogen. Vertogen was up from defending and to take the shot. And Ferris saves Panama from conceding in early minutes of the game. 54% possession for Panama. Here's a corner for Belgium. The cross and great defending again. There's a chance for Belgium. Oh, beautiful pass from Lukaku to Hazard. Hazard takes the shot and save. No pressure for Ferris to save Hazard's shot. And there was no pressure on Hazard's shots either. Vides. Great ball. Maso. What a beautiful ball from Mas. Mas is wide open. Mas holds the ball, the captain of Panama, what a cross, this could be a chance, what a set from Courtois, on the line, on the line, he saves Belgium, here's Lukaku, great teamwork, great teamwork, right now, Mertens, Lukaku, Lukaku pulls it back, this could be an opportunity, Lukaku, great defending, here's a chance for Belgium again on the attack, Kevin De Bruyne, Kevin De Bruyne, what a ball for Hazard. Hazard, he can do something here on the shot. And the volley was just a little bit far. Let's take a look at it from this side. Hazard with the pass to Nangola. Nangola to Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne sees Hazard. The Hazard takes the shot and misses the post. Barely. So many chances for Panama and Belgium. Could have done something. Yeah, what a ball. What a movement. Masso. Well, the header was nowhere to be found. Great defending from Belgium in 45th minute. And the referee blows the whistle in the Fish Olympic Stadium for Belgium and Panama to end in nil nil in the first half. My god, so many opportunities for both teams, so many chances. Belgium took them. If you watched until this part, please come in Panama. And the positions are 50 50. No difference between these two teams. Great opportunities for both. Great taken, but no goals. So let's go down to Fish Olympic Stadium for the second half of this game, which Panama kicks it off. Here we go. Panama now attacking from left to right, and Belgium from right to left. Panama could do something in this game. We just witnessed South Korea beating Sweden. Now anything can happen in this World Cup, basically. Oh, what a mistake. Panama with the chest, take the shot, and saves. Here's a corner for... Belgium, the cross, what is happening, there's a chance, it goes in, it's in, it's a goal for Belgium and it's an own goal, Santonia scores for Belgium, but it's an own goal, unbelievable, what a way to go behind in the opening game of Group G, take a look at what just happened, he takes the shot and deflects from Santonia and goes in, barely goes in, hits the bar, De Bruyne with the cross, beautiful cross, no doubt in that, Hazard, Hazard takes the shot and Santonio was just in the way, deflecting the ball and goes into the net. Belgium with an opportunity. Belgium won. Panama nil. No great ball movement. Look at the play in this. De Bruyne Merchants. Merchants to Lukaku. Can he find? No. Carrasco to Lukaku. Lukaku to Mertens. What a ball. Mertens has a chance. Pulls it back. Let's see what they're going to do. Whoa. What about Carrasco? Carrasco with the cross. This could be a chance for Belgium. This great defending, and the ball hits the post, the corner ball, it goes out, there's a chance on the attack, Belgium, the captain, the Carrasco, Carrasco to Mertens, great defending, Mertens gets to the ball faster, Langola, Langola to Kevin De Bruyne, De Bruyne to Carrasco, what a ball, Carrasco, Carrasco, sees Langola, what a ball, Langola fix it, here's the pass from Lukaku, Lukaku, Belgium 2, Panama no. 
What a goal from Belgium to open up Panama for the second time. The only team to do that in this World Cup. Belgium with two goals up front against Panama. No chance for Panama to come back again. Take a look at the ball movement. Fantastic. Carrasco sees Nangola. Watch a ball from Carrasco to Nangola. Nangola pulls it back. And Lukaku just takes a shot to the corner of the net. No chance for the goalkeeper. Amazing goal. Amazing goal. Look at the ball movement. Look at the pass. And look at the finish. Lukaku, the Manchester United striker, opens up the net. And look at the Italian in Belgium in Lukaku's face. Belgium is on the verge of winning. 83rd minute. Munir, what a ball for Lukaku. This is, this could be the third one. Lukaku take the shot on the save. Unbelievable chances for Belgium in the second half. Panama cannot control Belgium anymore. Great match, great opportunities. Here's Panama now. What a cross. What a cross. Great defending. All the right up. Seen in. De Bruyne up. Lukaku again. The guy who scored. Here's a chance to run it back to De Bruyne. Mertens. Mertens finds Carrasco. Carrasco with the ball for Lukaku. Lukaku. The header just misses. Goalkeeper takes it out. And it's over the end of... Belgium versus Panama with Belgium winning 2-0 easily taking out Panama with an own goal in 55th minute and 80th minute Lukaku goal. Unbelievable game. Let's take a look at the table in Group G with Belgium on top with 3 points and Tunisia in England coming on later and Panama with a loss with 0 points. Now let's go for the opening game, the second opening game with Tunisia in England. Let's see what's gonna happen in that game. We are in Volgaragar Stadium for Tunisia and England and yes Tunisia and England they have faced before in 1998 and ended with a victory for England 2-0 unbelievable game that was so let's go in Russia in Volgograd Arena for another game between Tunisia and England with Tunisia's last World Cup meeting in 2006 and furthest they got was in group stage that's it they've never been out of the group stage and England of course being the world champions in 1966 against Germany unbelievable talent that was in 1966 now we take a look at this new talent that is lining up for England now first the national anthems of both teams Yes, it's time for Tunisia and England, the last game of today and the last game of opening group G. We'll take a look at the squad for Tunisia. Amazing talents lining up right now with Inyalotula in goal and Abda Albari and Aris up front in a 4-3-3 position. And for England, Joe Hart back in the squad and Kane, the top scorer of Premier League up front with Deli Ali and Sterling and Chamberlain behind him. This could be a team that can win the World Cup this year for England, like, like 1966. Let's see if they can do this and kick off for Tunisia and kicks it off. Here we go, it's time for this game. Let's see who's going to win it. Uh, are we going to have a winner or not? Already Tunisia with a great ball point. Take a look at this. Amazing. What a ball that is. What a ball that is. There's a chance for Tunisia already. Takes a shot on Jordan Six. There's a chance for Sterling. Pass to Kane. Kane to Derek Rose. Derek Rose, what a run. Pulls it back. The cross. Here's a chance for England on the defense. Pulls it back. Not the chance for England. Great ball movement. Deli Ali. Back to Harry Kane. Harry Kane to Henderson. Henderson, what a ball. Sterling. Pulls it back. The cross again. The great defense. What was that? What is happening to Major? Good score from the. Oh my god. A mistake. But what a ball movement from England. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. And it's out. No. Nope. Referee blows for something else. Let's see what. Here. here the referee blows for a foul. 
Uh, let's see what happened over here. We didn't quite catch it. But apparently the referee saw a foul. Let's see what happened here. Is he starting with the ball? Oh, yes. Yes, that's a foul. And it's against Tunisia. There it goes. Yeah, the ball. What a ball. I'm going to feel defense from Tunisia. There is a chance for Tunisia. Can they they can't attack? They have the power. What a ball that is. Great defending from England. Still Tunisia with the ball. And the referee blows for the end of first half. Ending in nil nil in Borgard Arena. Tunisia nil, England nil. But still, England with many opportunities that they couldn't do when they would it. If you guys have watched England this part, please comment England. With Tunisia having 51% position and England with 49 Let's go down to Wolgorgat Arena for the second half of Tunisia versus England, the last game of G today. Here we go, England kicks it off, and let's see what they can do. England start striking from left to right, and Tunisia from right to left. The ball goes out already. Oh, what a ball that is. Farak. Farak on the run. Farak just pa barely passes Sterling. Great ball movement. Great ball. Abdullah. Uh, Sariz. What a cross. The header. And the save from Johar. Oxley Chamberlain. Turns him around. Great defense from Tunisia. Jaber. What a ball that is. Great ball. Ariz. What a ball. Here's a chance for Ariz. They can do something. The cross. Tunisia scores. Abd Al Bari scores in the 65th minute to put Tunisia up 1 0 against England. Unbelievable attack from Tunisia. And of course, they're going to end up scoring. Unbelievable attack, great defense and an attack at the same time. Take a look at this. What a ball! Take it, just mes mesmerizing ball that is for Ariz. Ariz fakes it. There goes his number to be found. And of course, the finish unbelievable finish. Draw hard, just couldn't catch it. England breaking apart in the second half. What a finish that is. Hits the post and goes in. Unbelievable ball. Easy celebration. England on the attack now. Great defense. What a ball that is. Harry Kane, the first touch. It was poor and goes out. Eighty-nine minute. The last attack for England. They can do something for but yes, the cross was weak. The goalkeeper catches. This could be it for this game. The referee blows and Tunisia wins 1-0 against England. Reputation and vengeance for Tunisia from 1998. Unbelievable game, unbelievable game. You see the goal scorer, and this is how Group G stands with Belgium and Tunisia up with three points, and England and Panama both with zero. Until next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye.